Yeah, <laughs> this brother deep in his feelings, y'all. <laughs> this brother, this brother want everybody to feel sorry for him. <laughs> <laughs> like we care man we don't care here's another one for you <laughs> I told you I'm gonna ride this till the wheels fall off but it's gonna be different content different topics <laughs> oh we gonna milk this cow so <laughs> surf just get out of jail so he been gone for a whole year. So he making comeback to battle rap. <laughs> Only expecting for his comeback to be more impactful with a battle against Murder Mook. For that not to fall through for him. <laughs> then ARP changed the whole entire game by taking the the battle rap logo and signing them to RBE. To make matters worse, deny you the battle only to give it to no other than a who you even hate just as well as you do Murder Mook. <laughs> only for Murder Mook to come back and make his appearance. Not so much an appearance with you Highlighting his return, but him getting his own highlight now. So Mook return versus Surf return. Now, I throw this out to the battle rap community. Who going to have the bigger impact? Is Surf return to battle rap? Will his return be as big as Murder Mook's return to battle rap? Both of them happened this year, y'all. One take place in July, the other one takes place in August. Whose return going to have the biggest impact? Hmm. Who y'all think? Now, I will say this about Surf. Surf definitely know how to perform on that stage. He definitely know how to entertain and put on the show. I give him that. He good at that. I like him. He one of the most entertaining battle rappers ever in battle rap history. I give him credit on that. The man good. He do his thing when he locked in. When he locked in, he do his thing. I give him that credit. When he locked in, he do his thing, man. And That's one of my top battle rappers I would love to see on any big card. Especially when he locked in and got his stuff together. Definitely, that brother is guaranteed a ticket draw and sit people in them seats. Now, we got Murder Mook. They both got a lot of similarities together. Mook, for the most part, <coughs> very energetic. I ain't going to say he fire. <laughs> but his presence on the stage demands attention. Just to the point of us sitting at the edge of our seats to see what he's finna uh, come up with. What he finna, what's finna come out of his mouth. Both these dudes very cocky, very arrogant. Both these dudes thrive themselves off in battle rap media. Both these dudes highly exaggerate their careers. Both these dudes literally <laughs> they got ego problems. They got ego problems. And think they're above everybody. Both these dudes. Who have the greater impact? Now, I will say this. The advantage for the most part go to surf because he will be making his return on a URL stage. The biggest battle rap league in the United States. So that definitely weighs in his favor. However, Murder Mook is a brand. Murder Mook is a brand. Let's just be honest. He's a brand. So he making his return to any stage and going to draw and demand attention. So it don't matter if he on a URL. Wherever he goes, it's going to draw a following and attention will be on him. 
I don't know, man. I don't know who y'all believe. Um, who y'all believe? Who y'all believe gonna have the bigger impact, Mook or Surf? And they return to battle rap. Who gonna have the biggest impact? Cause I'm just sitting here saying to myself, like, I don't know. I'm sitting to myself saying, I don't know, man. This may can go. This may can go. Either way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it up to y'all. Who have the biggest impact returning to battle rap? Mook or Surf? I'll leave it up to y'all in the comments. Let's talk about it.